peeps and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a my favorite lip products video and a lot of you guys have been asking me what i wear on my lips um i don't know if you guys can tell i don't ever wear eyeshadow because one of my eyes are bigger than the other so i don't like wearing eyeshadow so i always like wearing lip products and colors just so there's a little bit of a pop of color because usually there won't be if I'm not wearing eyeshadow. So yeah, annoying me. Like, look at this right now. Like, are you being serious? This happens all the time. Okay, so the first product I like wearing on my lips is my Blistex Medicated Mint Balm. I absolutely love Blistex and what they make. I usually go for the blue um, casing, but I couldn't find it, so I had to go for this colour. I use this every single time my lips are dry and before I go to sleep and when I wake up, I use this as a foundation to other lip products because my lips are actually really dry, so this is my go-to. And if I don't put this on, everything just looks terrible. I recommend you guys get the blue one if your lips are super, super dry. Okay, so my go-to lip color that I wear all the time is the one that I'm wearing right now. And let me just find it for you guys. So this is the one that I wear all the time. It is the Kylie Exposed Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I absolutely love this color. I feel like it suits my skin tone so much. And it's a perfect brownie orangey nude um, it's just got the perfect combination which i really really like and also it's not drying if you do put lip balm on first so you have to make sure you put lip balm on because i've heard a lot of people say that this is so so drying and it definitely can be if you don't prep your lips first so yeah this is my go-to lip color okay guys so this is the second lip color i always go for and that is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint in the colour da, 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 Birthday Suit. I actually got this for my birthday um, as a little sample size and I've loved it ever since. I haven't run out of it. I actually haven't run out of it surprisingly um, due to its size but I really really like it. It's more of a pinky nude and it's so lightweight on my lips that's the best thing because i don't feel like i'm wearing anything on them and yeah this one's not as durable as the kylie one which kind of sucks but texture wise it's amazing it's better than kylie texture wise kylie one is very heavy on my lips and i can feel that there is something on there but this one is very light and nice. So this one is definitely my go-to. Also, some pinkish lip colors tend to wash me out, but this one actually doesn't, so that's great. We'll be leaving links to the products down in the description so you guys can get a hold of them as well. So guys, you guys are probably like, oh my God, what has she done? But this color by MAC Antique Velvet is one of my go-to full winter bold lipsticks i like to do this with like i hardly ever do eyeshadow but when i do i like to do like a nice neutral eyeshadow and then have like a bold lip and i'll probably wear these on like nighttime like dinners like a days where i'm like oh i want to step away from the nudes so i'm either like a nude person or like i'm like a all out person so this is my lip color when i'm all out and this is called Antique Velvet and it's one of the matte shades that MAC do. Um, I would have to say these actually don't last as long. You always have to top them up, especially dark colours, um, which can get a bit frustrating sometimes, but it's what it is. Okay, you, you guys can see the colour. It's more of a brownie. I also see a little bit of red in it too. Um, so it's like a brownie red, which I really, really do like. Um, this is definitely me stepping out of my comfort zone for sure, but I do really like it and it is my go-to. And sometimes when it's a bit too much, I usually go in with, let me find it, Naturally Transformed by MAC. I'll just show you guys. And I just, this Naturally Transformed is more like a skin color lipstick and I will just like, Put it on the top.
I just put it on the top and it's just just notched it down a little bit so it's not too harsh so I do like to do that sometimes and honestly mixing lip colors is so 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 good because you can get a shade that no one else has ever worn before so yeah I really like this next go-to lip product is the Dior lip maximizer collagen active it matches my nails actually but anyways yeah it's a Dior maximizer lip gloss and this actually does maximize my lips when I do put it on it has like a tingling sensation and then my lips just look a tiny bit bigger which I really really like I also like the color of this such a nice neutral pink lip gloss which I really love and when you put it on your lips it's so nice and glossy um, that's what you want in a lipstick you don't want to just look like you're wearing lip balm you know but to be honest lip balm some lip balms give you such a lovely sheer finish which is so nice as well and um, i know lip gloss can be so frustrating at times because your hair can get stuck to it but this is not as bad with it surprisingly it's not that sticky it does feel quite sticky on my lips yeah it's quite sticky like i can definitely feel that something's there but I really like it. The price point of this is actually quite high. I definitely want to find a drugstore alternative. Like, I don't even use it that much. And I've already used, like, it's already gone up to there. So, yeah, it's quite expensive for what it is. But when I find a drugstore alternative, I will definitely let you guys know what it is. But, yeah, this is just my go-to lip gloss colour guys this is my next favorite lip color this is my go-to red color i always go for it's a smashbox liquid lipstick roach liquid lipstick in bang bang so i really like this red I think this is also a really pretty christmas red it's not too deep and it's not too orange so i feel like it's the perfect red for me actually quite long lasting surprisingly i actually wore it for a whole day which is crazy because you would always have to top up red lipsticks but that's just what it looks like i guess it's more on the fiery red than the darker red but yes this is my go-to red lip color those are all my go-to lip products that i always wear on a daily basis well obviously not on a daily basis but I regularly wear them these colors are actually really great for people who have olive skin tones because some nudes and stuff don't really go with olive skin tones they nudes can really wash olive skin tones out and make you look like a ghost so those ones are my go-to favorites also guys i hit 500 subscribers on my channel which i'm so excited about like i could not have done that without you guys so thank you so much and also when we hit a thousand subs there will be a giveaway so stay tuned so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to check out my last video and also subscribe down below and comment if you have any questions and like for more content. Thank you for watching my video and see you in my next one. Bye!